Hello guys, in this video we're going to create an onboarding screen for an iOS app. So the very first thing that we're going to do is going on the top left uh, insert and uh, we're going to click on it and uh, we're going to select uh, an artboard. And uh, as you can see on the right, uh, this uh, artboard uh, option appears and at the moment it's selected under responsive web, but we want to use uh, Apple devices. So click on it and uh, I'm going to select the iPhone 8 for this specific example and uh, here we have our artboard. Now at this point uh, what uh, I want to do is to create uh, the main uh, onboarding uh, uh, experience which um, is going to be um, a... let's create a header first and uh, let's type something, the character is set at... let's set it up at zero and uh, I'm going to use uh, Lato for this uh, specific example, which by the way is a free Google web font, which um, I believe is really good for user interface des design and uh, overall I think it's uh, pretty slick. So this is uh, our headline and uh, at the bottom of uh, the headline we're going to uh, create uh, a call to action which is going to extend for the most of the width of uh, the iOS app. Uh, let's uh, make this one with uh, a blue color and uh, I'm going to select this and make it a little bit more saturated. Um, let's bring it back and uh, maybe let's make it a little bit more bright, like just like that. So this is going to be the uh, continue step and uh, I'm gonna make this text uh, white and uh, I'm also going to make uh, the boundaries a little bit smaller and I'm also going to set the type uh, size a little bit smaller too uh, because we're going to make it uh, uh, bolder or even black uh, let me have a test, okay black could work and uh, I'm also going to make the character just a little bit, uh, the spacing of the character just a little bit uh, uh, bigger, just like that. And uh, this is going to be at the very bottom. And uh, over here, we're going to create uh, the three ovals, which uh, are representing the stage of uh, the actual. Um, of the onboarding process. So in this uh, case we'll pretend that we are on step one and uh, that's why we're going to highlight the very first one and uh, we will keep the other ones grey so that uh, it's uh, um, a way to pretend that we're in the first step. And uh, I'm also going to quickly grab all these ovals, create a group and uh, center it. Okay, it was already pretty well centered, so there wasn't even no need for that. And uh, this is it for the uh, basic uh, um, structure. And uh, I think that in this case, I'm going to uh, hop on over here and um, I'm going to select uh, an icon. Let's go with a material icon which uh, is a basically free Google icons which you can use in your project and uh, I think that I'm going to use this first one which uh, happens to be the account balance um, but it can even look like an institution maybe a university like reference and uh, I'm just going to uh, grab the SVG and uh, literally I dragged and dropped it into the artboard now, one thing that uh, I like to do with these uh, uh, Google icons is that if you notice on the left, uh, um, I have a group and uh, in this group, uh, I have uh, a shape and I actually want to get rid of the shape and I also want to get rid of the group with the keyword shortcut uh, shift command plus G and um, so that I only have the shape and I'm going to center it just to be sure that it's well uh, centered 
and uh, I probably going to tweak the color uh, just a little bit uh, maybe I want something around these uh, gray lines and uh, I can uh, change this one up just to see how it is uh, on a bigger scale and uh, or actually, let's make it uh, let, let's make it similar to an onboarding process, like uh, your journey begins here. And uh, on top, uh, I duplicated this uh, text, and I'm going to make it uh, smaller, and uh, I'm going to make it step one, so that um, there's actually a reference for the users. Um, of the step uh, in which they are you're up to in this process and I'm going to uh, make the same uh, character spacing as I used in the call to action so that's free and uh, I'm going to make it uh, a little bit uh, uh, less uh, visual uh, I'm going to change the color and make it a little bit more gray I'm going to use the same gray as uh, the main icon and um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much it um, as the base of your onboarding screen. Um, of course, there's much more you can do. There's a lot of tweaks that uh, you can make and uh, it really depends on, uh, on the project and uh, what you need. But um, I think we're in good shape for this tutorial. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have uh, any questions uh, regarding Sketch or UI, UI and the UX design, feel free to write a comment below and uh, I will get back to you. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.